So I got a little bit of time to fish before I have to eat and then go to work. So bear with me. Looks like I think I'm gonna be throwing a jerk bait. Probably flippy doodad. Cause I can cover the water column real well. And maybe catch something. All right, wish me luck. What's up guys? Welcome back to Flipping the Script Fishing. Since my work schedule has been pretty demanding here lately, I haven't had a chance to get out on the boat very much. So I've been doing a lot of bank fishing here lately. Just an hour here, an hour there, maybe two hours if I'm lucky. This time of year though, bank fishing can be just as good as fishing from the boat. As temperatures start warming up, bass really start feeding and getting ready for the spawn. Here's a couple baits and techniques that I like to use to maximize my time this time of year. So try to pay attention to what I fish, and how I fish, and why I choose the lure I'm about to use. Nice spot, really nice. All right, let me show you real quick what I mean by a flippy doodad, okay? Now here I'm using a Berkeley Max Scent uh, Creature Crawl, okay? Now you can use a beaver, you can use a missile based D bomb, um, all kinds of, they need to be wide body creature baits, okay? Wide body creature baits. What that does is it makes it glide, it makes the lure glide down instead of just drop straight down, it will glide. Only when you have it paired with a swim bait hook, okay? You see this swim, this is a, a Driftwood Custom uh, swim bait hook, okay? Uh, the S series or, or uh, I think this is a four aught quarter ounce or five aught quarter ounce hook. Um, but or you can get the ones that have a, the weight on the body of the hook. Those do well, but what it does is it, it puts the weight positioned with the wide body to make it glide. So that's that's the key to this thing. So not only not only does this thing glide, it will just glide down in really good action, but it will sit on the bottom and it will stay snagless. Okay, so when you're pulling across the bottom, the hook points up here, but the, the wide body keeps this weight from getting hung between rocks and that kind of stuff too much. Now it will hang up from time to time, but it won't go way down in there and then get pinched where you can't get it back out. The, bo the body of the bait will keep it from doing that. So then when it does get hung up, you can just pop it free. So I'm telling you, this does good anywhere. Rocks, vegetation, try it out. Trust me, you'll catch fish with it.
with hanging out of the mouth. Look at the size of this, guys. That's a spotted bass. I'm pretty sure that's a spotted bass. Look at that fish. <laughs> Might be a small mouth, mean mouth, I don't know. But look, you can see the spot on his tongue. Hey, right, look at that. That's a big one. <laughs> look how fat he is. They're coming up here ready to spawn. Beautiful fish. God. Wow. Alright. Here we go. Check that guy out. Alright, let's let him go. Do that. While well, I know there's some fish moving up through here, I want to try and glide bait, see if I can't get a bigger bite. See if we can't call some of them up there. Water's clear, got a good trap on it. Maybe it'll work out. We'll see. Yeah. Glide bait got a follower, but that was it. Mess with this gag, slimy. I was surprised the glide bait wasn't working. Size definitely didn't go up. This is a, you know, a small largemouth throwing a rearrange jerk bait. So, all right. Really not very long, but just look how fat he is. Look 
at that thing. That thing is fat and ready to spawn. Right, we're gonna move down. Flippy doodad definitely seems to get the size. But this one, I can fish a lot faster because a lot more fish. Top of trade off. Jerk baits, better have some sharp hooks. So you never know when you're gonna get them like that. <laughs> really prefer not to get them that way, but swiped at it. They got them. Nice smallmouth. It's a trifecta. Right. Still in the re-range. Now the re-range is a shallower running uh, jerk bait. <clears throat> so while I was getting bit on it, the bite slowed down for sure. So I wanted something deeper. So I threw on a this is an XPS 
um, deeper grind jerk, jerk bait. And I've thrown it three times and gotten two fish. This is my, the one I finally got to, the, you know, the other one came off right at the bank. But here we go. Number two on that one. Right, right on the bank too. on that jerk bait. I'll tell you what, little changes make all the difference in the world. This one's a little bit better fish. Yeah, not bad. Fat spotted bass. Yes, man, I need a day like this.
so the jerk bait bite died and I went back to the flippy doodad bite because I was just a little worried that I waited too long because the sun's starting to go down but first cast oak I it in hindsight I kind of wish I had stuck awesome. with the flippy doodad a little bit longer and through the jerk bait just a little less flippy doodad definitely seemed to be getting the better bite even though the jerk bait was kind of fast action I hope these tips help you to get a couple more fish from the bank this year. Alright, not a bad two hours. Alright, until next time guys, tight lines.